During all the hassle of the launch day, we were able to get a glimpse of how these beast burgers are produced from the video. The ingredients used were beef patties, cheese slices, brown mustard, mayo, ketchup, diced onions, pickles, and of course, brioche buns. And the burgers are made through a process really close to that of a good home-cooked burger. The first step is to cook the beef patties on the grill while pressing them down at intervals to make them flat enough to be stacked and still fit in the burger. Toward the end of the grilling process, burger seasonings are added to the patties and they stay on the grill until a brown crust is formed. Next, the buns are added to the grill as well to allow them to toast. And once that's been done, it's time to build the burger. First, some mayo is spread on the flat surface of one of the buns, and this forms the base of the burger stack. Then the following ingredients are added in this order. Diced pickles, diced onions, one slab of beef patty, one cheese slice, another slab of beef patty, another cheese slice, diced tomatoes, and finally, the top bun. There are just four burger options on the Beast Burger menu, and this process describes just one of them, the Beast Style Burger. The Chandler Style Burger is prepared almost like a Beast Style Burger, except there are no toppings, just cheese slices and beef patties. In addition to everything the Beast Style has, a Chris Style Burger also has bacon and fries, and finally, there's the Carl's Deluxe Burger which is flipped such that the insides are on the outside and vice versa. Since the establishment of the restaurant, the burgers are all available within a price range of $7 to $9, while vegan options of each style are also available for $4 extra.